Well, Brian, first of all, just how, how are you feeling going into another set of fixtures for the side? Obviously, in a decent run of form. Yeah, they've been uh, been good. Um, two mixed games with the B and I, and obviously allowed a lot of players to play again. And you know that's always vital that we keep you know as much of the squad playing. And we've had four games at the last six weeks B and I. So the guys that came through the, the initial period of the of the championship matches have had some some rest and some chance to work on a few things. And uh, you know we'll look at the squad for this weekend and, and and go hard. It'll be a you know a tough game for us. We're under no illusions. It's we lost down there last year late on in the league. So. You know, we need to change a, a few things from that game. Look, looking at the squads you've picked for the BNI Cup, I mean, has that given you more questions, more headaches? Would you say in terms of picking for the games? Not necessarily headaches. It's allowing everybody a chance to put their hand up. You know, the, the starting group that played most of the championship games have been consistent, and um, you know, the other, the other guys have had to wait their time. So, this block of games, as I say, with four matches in the six weeks, allows them some consistency. I think it's it's difficult. When they play one week and then not play for another six because someone in their position has played well, and it also allows us to, you know, bring in some of the younger lads in the academy and also the guys that are coming back from injury. So, hopefully, over the next three or four weeks, we can get, you know, a pretty strong group of players that, you know, are going to push each other each week. And if somebody does slip up and underperform, there's, there's somebody that's had game time behind them, and that's that's vital for us. As you mentioned there, you, you lost there last season. How, did you learn from that? Is that something you can take into this one, or is it two different squads, really? Yeah, two different groups, different time. Um, but ultimately, the, the pitch is the same. And if you look back to the Richmond game, we were outstanding for 20 minutes and then terrible for the next sort of 30 minutes and then great in the last 20. So, you know, we need to be aware that pitch down there is pretty open. And um, sometimes the elements can go against you. But on a whole, we... We won't look back too much on last year, but we'll look back on the, the game we had at the start of the season with them where they scored two late tries from, from deep in their own half, so we, we can't switch off in this game. And obviously you look at the championship table now, you, you see the London Irish doing so well, so you know that you've got to keep that momentum going. Yeah, I mean, we're not really too fussed on, on where they are. They're a good side and we can't hide from that. Ultimately, we've we've got you know improvements to make in our team and, and how we play and how we attack or defend or discipline all the little things that go with the week to week, you know, key performance stuff that we look at that we need to be better at. And if we are going to have anything in the playoffs, we need to be changing our habits over the next nine games or eight games um, to give us a chance to be actually in really good position uh, come playoff time. But ultimately, the playoff time is, is a long way away because, as I say, we, we need to make sure we focus on on this weekend, first and foremost. And it's such a shame to see London Welsh but being in that position where they're expelled from the division. And Obviously, it's ne- never nice to see that happen to a club. No, it's horrible. Um, you know, there's some people there that have been in that club for a very, very long time and, you know, as amateurs and given a heck of a lot to it. And, you know, players now and, and staff and players have to all try and find another job after maybe giving a lifeline a month, six weeks ago, and that's always difficult. So, you know, you can only feel sorry for them. And yeah, whether it's... It's been handled right, handled wrong, the right or wrongs of it. For me as a coach, it's always you, you look at the players that are, or the staff that's, that's not getting the opportunity maybe to, to, to continue working in this environment. So it is very difficult. Um, you know, fortunately, we picked up a couple of the players before Christmas that have come in and strengthened us. And, um, you know, I just hope that as many of the lads and, and staff and everyone involved in the club can and get something that gets them past till the end of the season. And it puts the Championship in a bit of a weird situation where there's always going to be a team that has that, that weekend off now. Yeah, and sadly we, we're not one of them. Uh, us and Scottish aren't. So at present we've played 11 games, everyone else has played 12. So this weekend's a big game for that. Um, so we, we'll focus on the here and now and what we need to concentrate on. And at the end of the season, you know, we'll, 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 never be, we'll not be talking about it. So the key part now is just focus on this game get it right, get our mentality right, we travel on Friday and um, we need to improve our performances to be a better team come come April and May really. And looking at your own future, obviously the announcement made that you will leave at the end of the season, how important was that to kind of get get it out of the way, you know, let everyone know what the future is? Yeah, I mean that, that was important for myself and the players as well, and, you know, there's players that are out of contract now and there's recruitment to be done and, um, you know, f- for me it was, it was important that I was honest with the players and I've got an opportunity to come out of the game altogether, which is a massive decision for me to make, um, to look at a different avenue in, in life. And, uh, you know, it's exciting times on that. But I'm also, you know, I was desperate to stay and, and thankfully the club want me to stay on to the end of the season and, and, and hopefully achieve the dream that, that was set out when, when I came here in, in March, you know, nearly two years ago. So that, that target hasn't changed. My ambitions haven't changed. My commitment to the club hasn't changed. Um, 
and ultimately it could be a great, you know, a great four months for us all. And um, you know, let's fingers crossed we, we just we just keep developing and, and forget about some of the situations because I'm not. You know, it doesn't matter to me now. It's moved on. We just need to focus game to game. And just looking at making that career decision, I mean, how how difficult is it to leave us the sport? Well, it's massive for me. You know, you know, back to 1988, since you know I played my well, 87, I played my senior debut, and then and that time was all about playing international rugby if I could. And then when I retired in 2005, it was about trying to be as good a coach as I can, and maybe even sniff into some of the, the national level stuff within the Scotland setup. And, you know, that was my ambitions, that was my targets and I've achieved most of them and, and sadly that, you know, I've come to a stage now where I've, I've had an opportunity. But it was tough, it was tough telling the players, which I never thought it, it maybe would be because I was quite comfortable with the decision, but, you know, eventually standing up in front of them, it was hard for me. And, uh, but I'm, I'm happy uh, inside, I know what it is and I know, you know, I'll give whatever the club want now uh, going on and, um, you know, I'm here to help as many, many players as possible and everybody involved in it. And it's just, you know... It was tough, but that's life. You know, we have to move on, and you know, I give my next chapter in my career, and whatever it may be, uh, you know, I give that a really good go, and, and hopefully be successful. And looking at the transition for the squad, Jimmy Lowe's obviously here already, so it's a case that he can have that that working brief now to know what to do for next season. Hundred percent, and that's where Jimmy. And obviously, I, I've been hugely impressed with Jimmy. Um, you know, we met last year, and it was. It's great to bring him in. I think he's, he's an exceptional coach and I think he's got a really good character with it. He's been at the club before, he understands the club, he understands the, the people that you know do fund the club, which is important. And also, you know, it's, it's continuity for the players that are here and, and hopefully you know, many of them will re-sign and ones we do bring in. But uh, it gives Jimmy, Steve, Chris Gibson, Ian McGee can all a chance to sit down at the table now and you know, and target that, that squad that they want for next season. I'm obviously there to help, but ultimately also I'm not there to, to make it difficult for anyone. And, I'm just there to support that side of it now.